It's time for the boys. Uh oh. Episode four, mm. and some of we'll, we'll talk about five. Talk about yeah, five. we'll talk yeah, about we'll four talk about first. Five. But um, I summarized it. It's cool. Yeah, but uh, episode four. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Episode four. Uh, Anthony Star went Anthony to a different Anthony Star <laughs> is an actor. <laughs> Act- actor. You guys can give him that label. Oh, uh, no, you weren't a fan. Uh, still, dude, huh? tell me, you did not like that episode. You still are really? not about it. Hmm. Interesting. What didn't you like about that episode? Because. Anthony Starr went diabolical. He, dude, he started with a fudgy the he whale cake. He walked with a fudgy the whale cake, and then <laughs> lasered some dude's dick off, and then stepped in his blood and said, "Oh, it's dick blood." Yo, but that's not, oh, but oh, not before, but not before he made him jack off in front of everybody. Yeah, exactly. He said, oh, yeah. he said, oh, and said if you don't get, he said, if you don't get hard, get hard I'm, I'm gonna laser your dick, dick off. off. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I was about to say you missed the whole piece. Oh, no, I was no, I was gonna go back. I was gonna go back because I didn't even talk about throwing the guy in the like making the guy walk in the oven. Yo. Yeah, yeah. So, so Yo. Anthony Starr as as Homelander gathers everybody that has kind of done something to him in his lifetime from a child in one room, <laughs> and just like. Yo, when he, when he, I, I, first of all, I already knew the guy was going into the oven. I'm like, this, mm-hmm. about, he's about to cook this dude. Like, mm-hmm. I used to watch you from right there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's oh. like, yeah, you know, it didn't burn my skin, but it hurt like hell. Like, mm. like, oh, you're, you're about to burn. Now, I, I'll be honest. I, I didn't see, um, the lady that he called, what's that, what's her name? Anna? The one at the Barbara. end. Barbara. 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 I didn't yeah. see Barbara. Yeah. I didn't. I, I I thought he was gonna kill Barbara. I did not see where he put Barbara in the room and like killed, killed everybody, everybody else. Around everybody else, everybody I mean, else in that bro, room. He left like blood. Dude, that everywhere. Shot, everywhere. The, shot, the shot of him uh, from the back with the blood on his cape. Yeah, that shit went hard. Yeah, bro, it, it went hard. And that was the pain and torture he wanted her to go through. He said, "I'm not even gonna kill you." I just want you to witness right. me killing everybody else, and I'm gonna leave and you in this lasered, room with all their, he with all their the guts. Door. And, all, all, and he's, I'm gonna just leave you in this room so you yep. can see what I've done. That's gonna be traumatizing. Yep, yep. he lasered crazy. the door, and she was stuck in there with that shit. Yo, that's the thing, crazy. But the bro. thing is, I, I, Barbara's the G in this whole thing. She, of course, away. she is. Yeah, <laughs> she told Homelander we made put him you, out of his misery. <laughs> we, <laughs> made, we made you this way, right? Yo. That was crazy. Put him out of his misery. Put him out of I his was misery. Like, was nuts. Oh, put him. Well, in fairness, I would be like, yeah, just fucking take me out too. You laser yeah, you my, laser my dick, dick off. off. Yeah, you could just fucking take me out now. I'm but good. The, the thing <laughs> is that Barbara's the whole G of the whole situation. She carried the scene. She did. She, she kind of did. But wait, you're not gonna say Anthony didn't have any chopping block, uh, like acting blocks, you acting chops he, during that whole thing? Because dude, he was great in that whole episode, though. But you got to that was like the best Homelander Barbara, we've seen. Barbara is the one who told you that we we hired the best psychologist right. to take care of to make you want to, to mold feel you, love, of course, to make you feel love, of course. Yeah. And you don't kill the main fucking person that did that. Actually, to you? that was crazy. <sighs> that like because I was actually putting that together and I was like, damn, they actually like they made Homelander, aka. This this universe is like perfect being, but they gave him a weakness to feel to want to feel loved. Love. I'm exactly. like, that's really fucked that's up if you think about insane. it. Insane. Like they gave him a flaw right. at the end of the day. Barbara, you know what I'm saying? Like, Barbara is my <laughs> Barbara is my Joker. Yeah, it's kind of nuts, no, really, if you no, think about it. You have all just, the superpowers in the fucking world. You still can't kill me because you still want my affection. Of you course. still want my love. Yeah. And, and you, you want to know what's so and crazy? She told, and she told this to Homelander into his face, and he still didn't do nothing. That's why yeah. I still call him a little bitch. And yeah. that was a, and also too in that scene, it called back to that part in season three, where Stan loses the company, and the Homelander takes over, and he's telling him that little speech right there before he walks out. And he's basically saying the same thing to him. He said, basically, you want to be loved. You, this is what you want. So he basically, that's why he walked out with confidence, because you're not going to yeah. kill me. Because it's the same thing with Barbara. You're not going to kill me because you want attention. You want to be loved. And like you said, that's his one flaw right there. He just wants to be loved. That's why mm-hmm. That's why he's doing all his manipulative things with uh, his son, because he's trying to manipulate someone to love him. Yep. That, that's right. what he really wants, because no one really truly loves him. And that's what pisses him off. Mm-hmm. Right. No, listen, 100%. That- Listen, that that means that she did her job because mm-hmm. that's really proper engineering, it is. which is what they did. You know, they engineered him and they mm-hmm. left him with the one piece that that would allow them to control him. 
Right. I love that A Train finds the fucking thing of pubes. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh my god. god. And then and then the V and then and then what's her and then um um Ashley. Ashley, 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 Ashley walks down the stairs. What are you doing here? I took a shit in his toilet. <laughs> took a shit in the toilet. I was like, <laughs> he, he said, "You oh left the floater in Homelander's toilet." <laughs> <laughs> yo, was it episode four where they also made yo when they made her take her wig off? Yeah, I was like, brother, ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your hair looks no, like listen, that. That's I, crazy. I just I loved how the entire Homelander scene was built up from the beginning yeah. all the way to the end. Like they really put time into like, oh, well, you know, let's just, let's play this game of like toss the, toss the, you know, the paper in the basket. Oh, remember when I used, when I used to watch you do this and you just shit it on my life and burned me? Go in the fucking oven. Go in the oven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Remember was, how nice you were to me? I, I will say though. Remember that one time I was masturbating and my shorts were down and you laughed at me and called me squirt? I, Go ahead, jerk off. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Jerk off was fucking crazy. No, we're all going to watch I was sitting you. there everyone like, come, everyone come he, here. He Let's made laugh. everyone gather around. <laughs> and then the dude pulled down his pants. And what did he say? He was like, oh, it looks like a little mushroom tip or some shit like that. Yeah. I was like, everyone, I was like, everyone what come the here. fuck? Like, yeah. this is crazy. Okay, now get harder. I'm going to lay no, your dick off. No, but what's so crazy is the guy pulled the Hawk Tour before Hawk Tour. He sure did. Oh. He's like, <laughs> Yo, and he was like, he literally on. fucking spit in his hand. Bro, bro, proper oh. motivation does does wonders. I it guess, does, bro. That's a fact. But also, aside from the Homelander stuff, fucking um, Starlight beating the absolute shit out yo, of the fucking cry, 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 cry. Yo, yo, yeah. the, yo, she went diabolical oh, on it. it. Oh, 100 percent. Yo, you mentioned the worse. you mentioned the abortion. Ooh. <laughs> Not even mm -hmm. about the abortion. Well, that she was a child molester herself. The uh, firecracker. Yeah, 100 mm -hmm. percent. And yeah. you know the fact that she maybe was like, I'm gonna just hit this button. She just goes click. But see, this is the thing that. I... Leo's okay. not liking the season, man. I'm sorry, but I'm just, it's, I understand that they're making it close to home. I understand. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. And you're getting that, okay, once you mention a certain, I, mm -hmm. I, I can't, I can't say what I want to say because we'll get bad. So Why once not? you mention, we, prob tonight. we probably won't, honestly. <laughs> the honestly. debates were tonight. Just Why say not? base. Just say base. <laughs> See, it's not not the base. It's just that it's not even that. It's just it's about a religion. Oh, I can see what you're saying. I well, yeah, that's their whole I, that's I their can, whole yeah. thing, yeah, though. They use that. Chill out. Um, yeah, that might that might yeah. that might go a little. Yeah, don't, see, don't do it, that. but the, but the whole thing is about that that you can just ask for forgiveness and you can molest a little kid. Hey, hey, easy. All right, all so. right. <laughs> Let's. Let's okay. You can go to the merch site anytime you like. <laughs> no, what nice also segue. got me was the guy. With the, also, what got me was the guy Ezekiel, the one that could stretch when he yeah, was, was doing say, when, when he was he's doing all the. No, not that part. Before that, when he was getting up there and like trying to crunch all these numbers, he said, "If you take this and you six, add this six, to this, six. and you add this in six six six, I, I was like, oh my god." Yeah. Yeah. Like, doesn't it sound very familiar? <laughs> yeah. Please. Yeah. Oh yeah. We listen. I know That's exactly crazy. where that comes from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's blatantly obvious. <laughs> yeah, it and they, they made it blatantly obvious. Like, yeah, dude. It's it's. I I I. Do like no, the way but, that I do like the way that they they went with it and they're going with it, but a they, lot of people are not are gonna pick it up. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, yeah. I think they more are, people yeah. than you think. I yeah. feel like. I think, I think they. I think, I think. I think they picked it up. I think they picked it up now more um, now than they did the previous seasons. Even though in the previous seasons it was there too. I think there's more than one reason this is the most hated season of the boys. Thus yeah, far. Oh, no, the, oh, it's, no, it's getting review bombed there's for more, a reason. There's more than one reason. Yeah. It's not it's not just It's just annoying because like this is literally the <laughs> comic this is literally the way the comics go. Like they do all yeah. this shit in the fucking comics. That's the problem. They they do. It's a little lot, different. But a lot and of also people don't comics. you got to realize a lot of people don't read. We oh we know. Oh we oh. know. So wait. So uh, aside from uh, speaking of Ezekiel, uh, the the fight with Butcher and Ezekiel, and uh, Butcher just waking up to him exploded. What the fuck's yeah. going on there? Yeah. So we don't. So, it has something to do with that parasite. That that's parasite that's in his, his brain. Yeah, but say he, he's he's got a parasite in his yeah, body. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, won't 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 let him die. Won't let him kill. So mm -hmm. I'm good. When he gets near death, it, it activates. But the but the parasite's killing him. Yeah, the the, the, the parasite the parasite's doing what it does. So but, like almost at this point. Is it like obvious that Butcher is going to become the sacrificial lamb to take out Homelander? Isn't that kind of where this is going? Uh, They're either going to do that or the sun. It's one way or the other. 
There's no other way to well, get it. Well, based it's off the last, we'll get into the next episode, but there was some sun got, stuff there, and I'm just like, oh. And you got to think, yeah. too, the, that the boys yeah. shows a lot of graphic stuff, but the one thing they don't want to show is when Butcher Parasite activates and destroys Ezekiel, and destroys it goes Ezekiel. black. So this yeah. must be very, very gruesome if it blacks out like that. You don't see yeah. it until... The, and then it's like, it was so bad. It, like, that whole trailer was stained with blood and guts. Like, you had a leg here, a finger here, a face <laughs> here, an ear here. Like, it yeah. it was crazy. Was and he wakes and he woke up and he was like, what happened? Like, he doesn't, he doesn't even know what happened. He yeah. blacked out. Wait, real quick. Brother Man, uh, thank you for stopping by tonight, man. Uh, we appreciate we'll talk you. Talk to you soon, all right? Man, man. Yo, thank you. Also, you, bro. Thank you. also we got to talk... Also, we got to talk about... Uh, the deep giving Sister Sage that lobotomy. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> that, Yo, so, bruh. hold on, hold on, hold on. That was wild. So, so that he's like, so all he's for like, a blooming onion. He's like, no, <laughs> he's, like, no I, he's like, I can't do that. She's like, I let your ass fuck me. Like, so you want me to he's stick this right here? right here? Yo. And, crazy, she, and, when she, and when she was instructing him how to do it, she says, okay, just go right here, but don't go far too far. Uh, and then hammer. And then, she had to take the uh, hammer and couldn't, and you can hear it. You can hear the, you can hear the crunching yeah, I, and the squ- and the squeaming, like the, that part right there. Because she says, yeah. "I need you to do this." Because she says, "For a couple of hours, I don't want to uh, be so smart." I'm yeah. just saying, like, too smart. Imagine being so smart that you that don't want to be smart anymore. You have to give yourself a lobotomy yeah. to, to not be smart anymore. Your brain to not off. be yeah. sm- to turn your brain off. Like that's almost the worst superpower of all so, time. Uh, like because you have no real power, you're just yeah. smart. Right. <laughs> so yeah. like, I couldn't imagine. That you know what I'm saying, yeah. like just wanting to turn no, it off for a little while. And then and, and, and then and then when they got done doing that, they act, she got done doing it. She was she said she in so many words she was like she's like come get this pussy. Yeah. <laughs> and the music that they play behind. Yeah. And the fact that he got like Guy Fieri's fucking food. Yeah, it's fucking hysterical. <laughs> so my 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 whole thing is just like at what point did you realize you had to give yourself a fucking lobotomy? Yo, uh, like, because she knows that otherwise she was not going to mess with the deep with her functioning brain. So she you know, said, she, in order she, for me to like, like mess with you like that, I, like I have to turn my brain off to basically yeah, it, it, what it, she's it, saying. It, it, was, yeah, it was strictly a trade at this point. Like, listen, I need you to do this for me and, I, and fucking you can just do what you got to do. Uh, but it's just crazy. Like at what point do you come to the point like, oh, you know what? If I give myself a lobotomy, I don't have to be here for a while. Like that's a hell of a fucking escape. But you got to imagine like she's the smartest person in the world. So you can only imagine how many miles a minute her brain is going. Like that's the it's point. like stuff that's... like like she's using all parts of her brain. She's like Lucy. Like she's using like 100 percent of her brain. Can can yeah. somebody call PETA? On the deep, because he has an octopus locked in the closet. Oh in the God. Dark. Uh, Can I, someone call fucking Peter? Octopus. Can someone fucking call Peter? I'm so serious. Bro, that, that, yo. And the octopus is like, but babe, we were like so like, good, and now you have me locked in the closet yeah. in the dark. And also, I was like, what the fuck is going also, on, dude? And also, we, like, can we briefly talk Got about weird. about Frenchie and the fact that he's screwing a guy who he whose family he killed. Why and he's just having and he's yeah. having and he's having this and he's having this trouble telling this man that he the killed his whole gave family him away. and the ankle gave him away. I said his I said his partner went way lighter on him than most would because he would have got dealt with yeah. and done with oh, right fact. there. Like, like, like Frenchie was saying, and Frenchie and Frenchie was re- and Frenchie was willing to let him kill him, but mm-hmm. I guess his conscience in him didn't allow him to do it. But he said, if you ever come near me again or if I see you, I will take you out. Yeah, but the thing I, is I, that there wouldn't be a next time. Yeah, yeah there, that. There wouldn't, yeah exactly. That. That. Yeah. That's what. That's what. I think it's the thing he was. Too. I think the thing is that he was probably dealing with the initial shock because, like, wow, I can't believe like you were the one that actually did it, and like yeah. I was with you this whole time, and you didn't say anything, yeah. and I find out like this. Yeah, you know what I will say? They said this season was supposed to be more grotesque, and like between Pink Eye. And mm. the lobotomy. Mm-hmm. Dick's flying everywhere. Yeah. Like, I still don't think it's grosser than father's milk. That was honestly one of the that worst. That was. I don't know. You but think so? also, also, we're not at the end. And we're also, not at the end. And also, you didn't really finish episode five. I didn't five. finish episode five. Yeah. Yeah. Because so there was some crazy shit in that episode. Yeah. Because we, we. Oh, still, yes. We, we yeah. still like There's talking some about crazy man fucking who shit fucking, in that like, duplicating man. We still ever talk about. You know the shit that he does. I like, never want to see that many dicks that, on screen again yo, in my son. life. <laughs> yo, I, was, I was just like, okay, I gotta go get. Some I was like, drink. does he have to be fucking naked? Like, why can't he wear yo, drawers? Bro. Like, what the fuck? Nobody wants op- to fight a naked. When dude. it opened the door and he's like giving bro. himself 
fucking a rim job. Y'all remember <laughs> how? <laughs> well, y'all think that's you think that's crazy? Y'all remember how the first the, how the first episode of third the third season uh, started? Uh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. No, let me listen. Oh yeah, I, listen. I, I still think this because I still I was thinking about it when I was watching it, and I was like. The fact that all the naked dudes piled on top of Butcher, I was like, you could have just killed me there. I don't ever want that many naked men near yeah, my uh, fucking body hey, physically, so yeah, ever. That's fucking <laughs> crazy. Just like 10 naked dudes piled on top Malatabi of him. With that shit's out. fucking crazy. This is crazy. That went so left. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, episode four was an episode, man. And I, I, I liked episode four. Oh, Everything that was going on. Yeah, um, and then, yeah, I didn't finish five. episode five. And then, yeah. and then right. episode five, like, um, I don't know. It was it was definitely a slower episode, but there was a lot of there was a good amount of meat in there. Um, the the farm no, was coming off episode four. What the fuck? Yeah, well, <laughs> well, I, I guess oh, yeah, before the farm, farm Jean Carlo Esposito, um, being mm-hmm. back was awesome. Um, then oh, he's back in this. One? Yeah, so yeah, he's back in great. this one because they're trying to use him to figure out where the virus is mm-hmm. because they want to get their hands on the virus. Okay. No, what was but, so funny? <laughs> When, he, when they got him out, he says, "Do you have a towel that you can put right, right here?" Right, you have a towel you can put right here. So, this, oh, this man is charming. <laughs> um, what was I gonna Yo, say? My man is dressed to the nines. Of course, he is. always is. Of course, he is. Yeah, everywhere he go, up. everywhere he go, he gonna look nice. Jesus he gonna look clean. <laughs> even bu- even fucking butcher said something. God damn! What the fuck? Marcus mm-hmm. said Frenchie a hoe for that. It's hilarious. Frenchie he is. Oh, Frenchie he is. Is Frenchie like this season. This season right here is really paying Frenchie to be a very unlikable character. Yeah. Kimiko. Uh, like, What's really? Kimiko. Kimiko? Kimiko. Still my favorite, Kimiko. Still my favorite character this season. Mm, and even she has some persuasion. stuff. Even, and, even, and even she has some stuff that's going on with her. Yeah. So based yeah, on what we've seen the first couple of episodes. Okay, she's delightful. It's okay. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was... <laughs> Go ahead, and Sam wasn't and Sam wasn't going to go with them because you know he, they were talking to about him, about Victoria, but then when Butcher brought up about they what brought he, up granddaughter, the, the, the daughter, then that's what made him stop because you know he had a soft spot for her, yep. so that's what made him say, "Okay, I'll go." Yep, and then um, them making fun of Comic Con the entire episode and uh, the uh, it, oh, just like comic the, the book beef, was, it, was, it, was it beef? Is it beef? Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we did um, we did reshoots on top of reshoots, uh, and then the third reshoots with the second reshoots. Like we're uh, we're, we're about to like release this film. Nope. Tech Knight Even coming when, in, Tech Knight coming in like Batman, like with his with his new movie, you, and uh, you know why this is coming out, right? It's because of the whole Homelander can beat everybody. Can beat everybody. In the, yeah, of course. The universe and. They're going at after the the comic book nerds. They're going after DC and Marvel because they know that there's all bullshit. Yeah, mm-hmm. and even when they put up on the screen the map of the movies coming out, like you know how they have the map with the movies yeah. coming yep. out with the lines to each Dude, movie. I all... said that that is straight out of Marvel. That's straight out of the. Yo, MCU. all right, wait. I gotta get your I gotta get your guys' opinions on this though. When they were talking about the diversity inclusion, where like if you if you're a white person watching oh, this yeah. movie, you're gonna see this. But if you're a black person seeing this movie, uh, they got a bottle of cognac and had in. and had a train right there on the bro, stage bro. while they're doing it. <laughs> that was. Fucking insane! <laughs> My mouth was on the floor when I saw that shit. But, but like, I, the, that was fucking the, wild. The, the boys has been doing this though. I know, but they it was have, all, no, it was hysterical. Have. I it's mean, it, it, it was hysterical. Yeah, it's hilarious. But like, um, ugh. but yo, and, yo and, so yeah, that scene right there, they they was hitting you, they was hitting you left and right, they was hitting you hard with un- that one. Real. <laughs> Um, God no, listen. The the scene that actually like like stood out to me the most too is when um, Homelander's talking to um, what's the kid's name? I forgot Ryan. the kid's name. Ryan. Ryan. And um, you know he sees the um, you know he asks Ryan like, listen, what do you want to do? He's like, I want to help people. And then he sees the um, the a- the Asian assistant getting getting um, you know harassed by the freaking the director. Mm-hmm. And then they call him over and they're like, you need to apologize to you, you know you, you need to apologize to her. And he's like, I'm sorry. And then Ryan's like, nah, he didn't mean it. Slap him. And then the Asian girl just starts fucking but, but, but slapping but, but, but him. But wait a minute. She, but wait a minute. He said, like, um, when he, yeah, get on, he was uh, apologizing. Yeah, was like, get on your knees. And he get on your knees. Yeah, and, and he starts apologizing look up at her on his knees. And yep. And she and then, was slapping him hard Yep, and then even before that, like, like, nah, he didn't mean it. Slap him, and then she it's just like again, again, and just just starts and then he, and, and, then, and then he takes him. and then and he takes smiling. a sip of his drink. He takes a sip of his drink. Yep, and they're just sitting smile. there like. And then Homeland is like, hmm. Yeah, it's uh, bad. manipulative tactics are it's working. Bad. Listen, I I don't know I don't know if Ryan's the answer anymore after after seeing that. Mm. It was bad. But yeah, the problem 
the problem is is that he's been gro- he's saying that he didn't want to groom him. That that was a whole thing. Oh, I've been manipulated my whole life. Blah blah blah. That yeah. the whole mm-hmm. father son thing. But the thing is, is that once you have Ryan, he knows once he has Ryan on his side, mm-hmm. nothing can stop him. Well, yeah, pretty yeah, yeah, pretty much. Ryan Ryan right now is Homelander's answer to everything that he wants. Yep. Because right. the one thing that Say said to him is that he has to kind of be attached to Ryan because Ryan is actually like, you know, the the one that will come out on top. So. He thought that having Ryan by his side was like a duo team, and she's telling him like, no, yeah, they, you know, Ryan's more likely to come out on the top of this pile. So at this point, Homeland is like, okay, I just need to make sure that I'm part of the story. That's why when they had the whole thing with him rescuing the girl, like Homelander shows up out of nowhere, like, yeah, I'm here, Ryan. Like, mm-hmm. but now he's a part of the story. It's the only way that he can be a part of what's going on. Yep. So he, he's got this attempt to, you know, have a legacy. Um, but I think that that's a problem for him. And and I know we talked about Ryan possibly being the answer, but now I'm not sure. Yeah. Because I, I really think that at some point, Homeland's, Homelander's probably going to have to kill his own kid. I think mm. that's where this is going. Mm. I can't wait um, to see that fight. I think but- that um, Sister Sage... At this She's point, the one. Is the bigger villain. Yeah. I'm just trying to decide Dude, really? if I'm just trying to figure out if she, she gets killed. I know or she's does so she smart. A, or does she actually do enough to like? She is cl- like I like, and you were she's saying it before. Ulterior, ulterior she's motivation. she's tearing them apart from the inside. She's like she she's knows, like the she she's like a A-Train virus. Did what he like did. She knows A Train did what he she did. She because yeah. and the one scene where she was like, "Yeah, someone just ran off with the footage." I didn't even catch that. Yeah, yeah. I caught I caught that immediately. I didn't even yeah, catch true. it. I'm like I'm like she ran. And someone ran off with the ran footage. Yeah. With the footage. And looked right at A Train. I'm like, damn, I didn't even catch that. Mm. Yeah, and, and yeah. what you gotta what you gotta remember is. By them literally saying that she's the smartest person on earth means that she has literally analyzed every angle of what can mm-hmm. happen in every scenario there mm-hmm. is. True. So she knows the outcome before the outcome even happens. Her layers have layers. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. True. So at this point, she's more dangerous, but I'm trying to figure out if that goes in her favor. Or if Homelander them. actually realizes how dangerous mm-hmm. she is and, kills and then her kills off. her. Yeah. See, yeah. I would think after after Homelander met her the first time and she literally said, like, well, your pubes are this, your hair is that. Like, I, like he must be thinking, like, all right, she knows what I'm going to do before I'm going to do it. Probably. Right. But the thing is, is that the conversation that uh, Sister had with uh, Firecracker. That was a good scene. Yeah, that was great. Oh, yeah. It that was, was great. Actually. Firecracker was like, I'd fucking kill you right now if I, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you were in uh, fucking Homelander's right hand. Right. And, oh, I would stick to back. But the thing is that, oh, now she, her sister told her, now you can really play the victim. Now you can really play the victim. That was fucking I awesome. Was like, oh. Yeah, now you can really play the victim. <laughs> I was like, oh. Yep. Yeah, I just no, think- no. What got me too was when the fire, when Firecracker had sell Sister Sage. Oh, you just you just think I'm poor white trash. She says, "Oh no, you're not." You she, she said, "You're not." Uh, oh, uh, she says, "You're not poor." Yeah, I like <laughs> how she so said, you're not, "You're not poor. You're just white trash." <laughs> I, I just, I just like I don't like. I'm trying to figure out mm-hmm. the Sister Sage of it all. Obviously, they're making her so mm-hmm. relevant this season for a reason. Well. Here, but it's like here's the thing too and it's something you miss at the end because yeah, this is another yeah, layer to sister sage okay, yeah. I have to see um the end of episode five. what's it called they they were trying to find the person that leaked the footage uh, and a train and ashley had a conversation pretty much saying hey uh, a train was telling ashley like hey you need to help me or i'm gonna fucking out you if i get outed you're coming down with me mm-hmm. so ashley put down the fucking the guy that she was like pegging the other episode right the great value anchor. basically yeah. great value tucker carlson yeah and walked him in <laughs> like blindfolded like and like he was the sacrificial lamb and mm-hmm. sister sage like literally is just staring at a train as they're just fucking they're all the the seven are killing him and on top of that they um they introduced back the two kids from Gen V um the yeah. the the mind reader one uh-huh. and then the guy that was locked Sam. up Sam yeah yeah they put him on the Comic Con stage okay and then they pretty much they brought him like into the room with the seven mm-hmm. and Homelander was pretty much like 
listen, um, we, we're going to be gods going forward. Like, we're going to actually try and help people. But but in that, we're going to have to be diabolical in what we do, pretty much. Like, that type of conversation. Oh. And everyone was just like, yes, sir, Homelander, sir. Oh. And then yeah. they walked that guy in, and they and fucking they that, And they paid that they camera to Ashley, and Ashley right had there. this big smile on her face while she was listening from around the corner. Yep. It was fucking yeah. It was diabolical. Oh, like they yeah. said, they said they said that up perfectly. And That's I'm glad crazy. they. I'm glad they made. I'm glad they made him the fall guy because he was pissing me off yeah, every that guy sucked. season so I, he was on. That guy sucked. So I guess maybe there's a Gen V layer that we're missing here. Huh? Well, because it's all like, about. Well, so the other part of this episode is all about the virus because okay. they went to this farm that um, Giancarlo <laughs> brought him to, uh -huh. and then. <laughs> <laughs> they're in the they're in there like looking at all these farm animals that were clearly tested on. Mm. Butcher let's go over rabbit, which I'll get to that in a minute, but let's go over rabbit. And then all of a sudden their their nose starts to bleed. Victoria Newman walks in and then her and uh Giancarlo's character have like this whole conversation about them betraying each other. Oh, and then shit. they're they're looking for the scientist now. The scientist is somewhere on the farm, they can't find him. Scientist is baby daddy. Right. Scientist is actually oh. the baby daddy. Samir. And then, so, and, then yep. and then they find and then they find a and shit goes nuts bottle of gin of compound v and this is like leaking everywhere so now the v has gotten into all these farm animals and they mm -hmm. are like they are some maniac bro they tried to shoot the chicken the chicken oh, and die. literally after that scene <laughs> literally after that scene we walk into a barn guys are dead they're they're wondering who the hell did it all of a sudden a fucking chicken chicken comes out of fucking nowhere and, and goes, goes right through, through somebody's chest body, and they're right gen v the chickens they're Gen V chickens. They have to, you know, one, one oh. or two people die. They lock up the barn. They start running. They start oh, walking up. Shit. They start walking up the road. Um, you know, um, Starlight's having problem with their powers. Her and Victoria having conversation. Whatever. They're all talking. All of a sudden, they oh, see Starlight a Starlight punched the shit, and then no, Starlight punched the see, shit out of her. Yep. Then they Starlight punched the shit out of Victoria Newman. They all get up. All of a sudden, they see a bull. They're like, "Oh my God, is this bull fucking like full of V right now?" The bull's about to charge. Three flying sheep come up and pick up the bull and rip it to shreds. <laughs> Holy shit. Rip it to shreds. And then they all start what? running because there are just flying sheep everywhere what with the these fuck? crazy ass teeth trying to kill them. Oh. <laughs> it was fucking and, one of the, and, one, and one of the security tries to get away. She jumps over the fence and I before she it. lands, the sheep literally swoops and, and they like and just fucking tears the, the sheep apart. apart tear, 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 Oh my god. Fucking insane. Uh, what the fuck? I, I just want to say whoever's writing the boys is doing excellent drugs. Right. Bro. Literally. <laughs> everything everything on the farm was top tier stuff. Yeah. I have to see this. Fuck it was man. So I'm so mad this is the one episode. And, and, I and, then seen. The thing, and see the thing is all of the, those are like all of like the major parts, but I would say one of the better parts of this episode, which was the more mellow part, was the scenes with Huey, his dad, and his mom. Oh, that's where so that's wild. where the that's where the that's where the like they the emotional part as yeah. The, yeah, the emotion mm -hmm. parts was definitely in that scene shout mm -hmm. out to simon Pegg because i love him didn't, he didn't yeah. get really much to do anything in this season except lay in that bed but in this scene right here mm -hmm. he made you believe that he was losing his mind yeah mm -hmm. and as somebody who has a and people who have family members who might you know have gone through dementia or alzheimer's Dude, scary, can definitely scary relate thing, to that mm -hmm. and the thing is, is when he gets his powers he gets one of the best powers. He does. As a phaser. As a, as phaser. a phaser. And when he walks The hospital the, bed. The, <laughs> the guy in the hospital bed is flirting with the nurse, right? Mm -hmm. My man phases right into his fucking chest. The middle of his body. And he what's crazy? The fucking Watusi turning around all over the fucking place. And and as he's phasing and turning around, more of the guy's guts are just continuing to spill yeah. out onto the floor. Crazy. It's, it's and you can it's, and you can and you can hear it. it's like oh, it, it sounds yeah. like it's not it sounds like it's, it was almost sounding like he was stirring a pot of mac and cheese. Like oh, yes, yeah. Yeah. and then <laughs> but then <laughs> but, but then after that, like someone with dementia, he's clearly stuck in a certain place a certain where place, yeah. his son was. And then he like sees that his mom is there and starts to turn on the mom. Because he's, he's stuck like, at Daphne? a point. Yeah, he's stuck in a point where oh his God. mom left and he's just like, You fucking left us. Like, dude, amazing scenes. They start Shit. he starts chasing. But them, what, we, what like, we also notice too is when he's in the room when they first find him, when mm -hmm. the person is laid on the floor, he turns around holding the person's heart right. in his hand. Yeah. Oh my Didn't God. Didn't even Yo, know what he this. did. I have to finish watching. Not so, knowing what he did. Crazy. Yeah. That's And when crazy. the cop and when the cop came and got in front of them. 
and he was like freeze like put your hands up he phased right to him and pulled and ripped his heart out like he just yeah. literally ripped his heart oh, out. Huey's dad was a problem huh? oh yeah oh wild. yeah his dad if Holy his dad shit. was in if his dad was in his right state of mind he would have been such an intricate asset oh, to the yep. team Huey, Huey's dad but the the best part that I enjoyed of this whole episode was butcher being butcher right so yeah. oh, so here oh so yeah here's what so here's what happens so they find the scientists right there that's when the sheep are kind of attacking them they realize they have to get out mm -hmm. so they get out and pretty much what happens is you see one of the sheep get the legs of the scientists so you're assuming they're dead mm -hmm. here comes jeffrey d morgan's character with oh, opening up a barn door and here's a scientist with a missing leg but you're mm -hmm. fucking cut this guy's leg off Yo, fed to, it to make him seem like he's dead to make it seem like he's dead he, he's and dead. hid the scientist and also to be and also forget don't forget leading up to that yeah. is because when they run out of the barn the yep. sheep flies over to pretend, like start to attack them but the sheep stops yep. and then the sheep starts throwing up this black like tar looking stuff so, so that shows that the virus the virus, the virus yeah. worked so they put the virus in a dead body and threw the dead body out and the sheep started to eat it Okay. so that they would get the virus. the virus and literally the sheep's about to come at them and all of a sudden just start blowing throwing up blue guts kind of like how what happened in gen v, gen v. They, they that's how they died yeah uh and then all the you see the sheep start flying out of the sky and like dying and, like, falling, yeah. Yeah. and they hit the ground hard i and mean then, they hit the ground hard yeah, hard and oh, then so they're just testing the fucking right thing. and then pretty much oh, at the shit. end and pretty much at the end butcher has a conversation with the scientist like hey man if you want to live you're gonna fucking make this virus that's what you're gonna oh do. Oh my god, maybe yeah, Butcher so is, but maybe Butcher is gonna kill fucking Homeland. And then you get Butcher's smile. Yeah, maybe you, Butcher's gonna you kill literally the episode maybe. ends on Butcher's crazy ass fucking smile. Yeah, yeah. maybe he's gonna yeah, kill the problem, yeah. the problem is at this point, Butcher wouldn't survive either. So he has to True. Oh, what's one thing we forgot to mention? When uh when they was getting ready to carry Stan back to prison, and all of a sudden you uh, see the driver's yep, nose bleed the... and it his and his head pops. Yep. So Victoria is, Victoria is basically freedom. freedom. Oh, because, yeah. yeah. So she. So now that Stan head is a freeman. Pops up out of nowhere. Man. Out of nowhere. She just. Shows but you up know out what? She was. Like, but, she was good, but, but she was a good. But <laughs> she was a good. She was good this episode. Good, she was yeah. good this episode for the simple fact her. that. But for the simple fact, she's the only person that would have been able to kill all of those animals without the virus. Because remember, one of those chickens was about to attack Stan, and she looked right at she it and, and blew it up and popped it. She's she was the only person. That, yeah. She was the only person that could have took them all out. All she had to do was look at all of them and just like go down the line. And they all would have popped. She's such a wild card character. But to she avoid is. not killing anybody else, that's why she didn't do it. Hmm. I gotta watch. I gotta finish watching this episode. Yeah, Fuck, man. Yeah, well, we yeah, it's, a, it's, an, it's, it's an eight episode season, right? So we got eight three episode, more. Three more. Left. We got three more left. And mm -hmm. then next season is the last season of the boys. Mm -hmm. Gen V, and then last yep. season of the boys. Yep. Kind of. And then they go to and then they go to Mexico. Then they go to Mexico. I don't know. Boys, Mexico. Uh, whatever it's gonna be, it's definitely gonna be racist. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely gonna be racist. Whatever yeah, it is, pretty much. Kind of can't wait. <laughs> hey, man, you got that V man? <laughs> <laughs> then that's fucking, how that's how you end an episode. Uh, fucking hell. Oh uh, God. So uh, I guess that'll that'll do it for us, man. We almost hit three hours. Yeah. That was <laughs> long, but uh -huh. um, I guess uh, yo, know, thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Um, obviously, Man Cave One One Podcast. We talk all things nerdy. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Kick, Rumble. I got the ding in. You like nice. that? Nice. Good for you, bud. Torian, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. I mean, we really appreciate you hanging out. Thanks everyone in the comment. Morning. Yep. Everyone in the comments, thank you so much, Marcus. Uh, all you guys. To all the people that um, that threw us some uh, some super chats, Fatal J, Polar, Marcus, Rachel. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Um <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, we will be doing uh, a pre-record next week because it is the 4th of July. Obviously, we all want to go out and have a good time and do our thing. So um, for all of you out there, I hope you guys have a happy and safe 4th of July. You know, have your drinks, do your fireworks, but do everything safely. Um, I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Yo, uh, quickly, just yep. don't, hey, don't forget, stop by the bank101.org site to get your merch, shirts, hats. You know what I'm saying? Something to put your gin and juice in for the 4th of July. We got plenty of stuff on there. Um, check that out and whatnot. Also, don't forget um, to join our Hot Heads. Our Hot Heads get special... Uh, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? The emojis. Special rewards. The emojis, the emojis the early rewards, access yeah. to our early access to our videos, all that. So member-only stuff coming soon. Promise. Yeah. Really. Um, 
we get to watch me rage at Elden Ring. It's great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Break my headset. It's great. So one thing we try to do is get back to our fans and our audience members. We appreciate all you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yep. Take care. Have a very safe and fantastic holiday. Enjoy. Peace. Peace. Oh, Peace. take a shot to leave. Great. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, leave with a shot. Oh, okay, wonderful. Hey. Cheers. Shoot. Great. Tori and cheers. Let's Tori go. and cheers. <laughs> yeah, I got my water right here. Great. <laughs> Love that for you. I wish I had more. Yeah. <laughs> Extra uh. go for me. Extra go for me. Peace out, peoples. Yo, peace. We we'll see you guys later.